Yes, I did. Because it's down there, then it was right here behind this cell. Who's that whistle? What is that? The guards. Did you hear that? Oh, what was that? Did you hear that thud? Guys, tonight we're at the historic Crown Point Jail in Indiana, and it has a really long history, dating all the way back to 1882. Now, in 1882, the first jail was built on site, and by 1908, they realized that they needed a bigger structure, so they built a new jail on the same plot of land. Now, by 1928, they realized again that they needed more cells for the inmates, so they brought it up to its current specifications of about 150 cells, including solitary confinement, uh, trustee cells for the good inmates, and even living quarters for the sheriff and his family. Now, the sheriff and his family lived on site and were only separated from the inmates by a single steel door. Now, over its long history, there have been a number of very notable inmates that have passed through the doors here. One being Frank McErlane. Now, he was Chicago's most feared gangster. It is actually said that Al Capone himself was even afraid of this guy. The story goes that Frank was sitting in a bar here in Crown Point one night with his other gang members and one of them said, hey, are you really as good of a shot as everybody says you are? So Frank stood up from his stool, whipped out his revolver and shot the gentleman sitting at the end of the bar for absolutely no reason. This gentleman actually was a prominent lawyer here in Crown Point. Frank would go on to be actually acquitted of this murder because everybody was too afraid of him to testify and say he had done it. Frank was also credited for bringing the Tommy gun to Chicago, so he changed the bootlegging industry for all of America. Now another notable inmate that came through these doors was James Fur Sammons. He was deemed literally insane. He was one of Al Capone's hitmen, and again, he was brought here due to one of his crazy crimes and was later acquitted and released. Now this jail was actually considered one of Indiana's finest. It was also believed to be escape proof. Now on March 3rd, 1934, John Dillinger would prove that false. He had made a gun out of some wood he had found in the prison, and he actually had one of the trusty inmates lock everybody else up in the area, and he essentially just walked through the kitchen and walked out the back door, proving their claims that you could not get out of this place completely false. Another person proved them wrong in 19. 57. His name was the Indiana Dune Slayer. Now, he was basically a serial killer who would pick up, pick up hitchhikers and murder them, basically burying them, some of them even alive, right outside of Gary, Indiana. Now, he escaped in 1957 and again just proved their claims wrong. There are a number of reports of abuse in this jail throughout the years, one of them being of an inmate named James Cook. Now, he had been housed in one of the solitary cells and he was aware of some contraband exchanges going on between inmates and guards. So when he went to trial, he actually told the judge about this stuff, trying to get you know a leaner sentence. And it got back to the guards that he basically ratted them out. So when he was returned here, he was very, very badly beaten inside his cell. The jail would continue to operate all the way until 1974 when it would finally close its doors. So in the mid 1980s, the Sheriff's House Foundation took over the jail and they actually turned it into a museum. Now they started running tours and eventually even paranormal investigations. Right. There's claims all over this building. There's full bodied apparatus apparitions, shadow figures, disembodied voices, footsteps, all kinds of crazy stuff that happens here. This place is also reported to have a creeper. Basically that's something that crawls on the walls and the ceilings and reaches down to touch people's heads and can even affect them physically. People have reportedly passed out on tours, gotten violently ill, and even had to leave. So I want to see what exactly happens. This place seems to have more of a physical implication than other locations. Yeah, it's a little bit different than some of the jails we've investigated too. Yeah. You know, it's older than a lot of them that we've been to. It's, you know, kind of a weird size, right? Like it's not as big as like a Mansfield Reformatory, which we've done, right. but it's also not as small as some of the other jails we've been to. So I'm super interested to get in here and, and kind of see what this activity is going to do for us tonight. Um, I mean, there's three floors of jail cells. I mean, there's a lot of ground to cover and I just have a feeling that, you know, we're in for quite a night and I'm excited to get into it. So let's grab our stuff. Let's go out there and let's investigate the old Crown Point Jail. Let's do it. What's up guys, we're at the Historic Crown Point Jail in Indiana. We have some of our friends here with us, Mark, Deanna, and Sabella. What do you guys think? You guys have been on a few investigations with us on the channel so far. It's your first one with us. What's your first thought coming in here? Um, well, we were just uh, poking around a little bit earlier and uh, it seems pretty active. I'm not looking forward to it. It's a little bit scary. What about you? Are you it's ready? Scary? scary? Yeah. You're, but you walked the homestead second floor by yourself. Dylan doesn't even do that. That's facts. So yeah, I think you're going to be fine. I think you're going to get us some good activity tonight. What about you? You ready? I am already nervous to go in there. All right. So I think we're going to make them go by themselves at some point tonight. So like I mean, we're in a jail, so it makes the most sense to let them go off on their own. But I'm excited to get in here. I'm excited to have you guys with us. So thank you for coming out. And uh, let's just get in there and see what we can talk to tonight. Yeah, let's do it. 
All right, guys, so we just made it into the first floor trustee cells. We got some millimeters set up out here in the hallways. We have our DR60s um, and a millimeters already going off. Now, the cell that it's going off in was actually for a woman who killed her two daughters with arsenic. Um, she ended up being acquitted of this murder, and she went on to live the rest of her life with her surviving daughter. But she was housed down here, so uh, we're going to try to make contact with her. They said she's usually pretty talkative, so we're just going to see if we can see uh, if she wants to talk to us tonight. Yeah, let's do it. All right. You got the ovulus? Yep. Perfect. This one down here is going off now? What is that? Scent. Scent? Scent. All right. All yeah. right, trustees, we're going to do a head count. Oh, Step out in the hallway. The EMF thing done that a second ago, too. The REM function? No, the EMF one. Oh, the EMF one. Yeah. What the Oculus say? Uh, video. Video? Yeah, oh. we're taking a video. We are filming. Oh, this one stopped. And this one started up. Trustee, step back in the device. Oh. Step back in the device. Oh. Step back in the device. Oh. What was that? What was that? That was a female voice. Yeah, like a woman. Did, did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. That was like right here. As that goes off. Yeah. That, that was right down here. That was crazy. Hello? There's a knock down here. Yeah. That was one of the cell doors. Yes, it yes. was. Oh, oh, that's the EMF. I also just saw, like, a, I don't usually see orb, but I saw an orb go up and I was waiting for you guys to shine here. You saw a ball of light? A ball of light up at the top. I can't. Dang, here, guys, this is what we're seeing right now. It's dark in here. That's what we're seeing. It's his stomach? Yeah. Stomach. No, this one's going. Oh, I'm covered in goosebumps, too, right now. So it's like we're surrounded at both sides. Both sides. And there's a woman's voice. He just saw a ball of light and a door slammed upstairs. We've been in here for two minutes. <laughs> and it all cuts out at the same time. Yeah. yeah. If, if you're the woman we just heard, can you set off this device in the cell in front of me? If we just heard your voice? If that was somebody else and you heard it. Oh my goodness. One down here. So just to confirm that this is Ann Cunningham, can you step away from that device? Step back so it stops going off. Oh, it's pinged. Are you a guard? This one going off. What did I say? Lens. Lens? lens? So it said video, video lens. and lens so far. Yeah. While we're filming. And I said, Is, are you a guard? And this one starts pinging. Do you want to talk to us with uh, the voice recorders? We can record your voice. That was pretty quick. All right, if you want to use us, if you, mm, how about that? <laughs> if you want to use us, All right, do you want us to use those? Travel. 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 And then it goes down there. Yeah. So it traveled from this one down to that one. The top is fitting too. Can you touch the top of that device so it lights up? Can you make a noise for us somewhere in the cell block? Outside. Outside. Are they outside the cell? outside the cell block maybe? In that hallway? Make a noise to let us know where you are. Oh. They're both going. They're yeah. Yeah, they yeah. Sink. Oh. I'm actually gonna turn the temperature off on this. So we can try to listen for a second. Do a couple of DR60 sessions. Yeah. See what they can do. All right, do a couple questions? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Who is the woman who was accused of killing her children? Who 
Who's the sheriff currently? She didn't mean to hurt those kids, did she? What is your name? How many people can you see right now? Can you tell us what state we're in? One, two, three. So you can hear the truck outside, obviously, yeah. but suddenly like there was a knock. Yeah, I said you hear that, right? It was either a knock or like a footstep over there. Mm. It's two words. Indirect V. Indirect V. I don't know. What is it? Indirect V? Ever. In nine years. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It does. So In indirect V. That's a V, right? Yeah, v. That's definitely what it looks like, yeah. yeah. Indirect V. Since 2014, we've never that no, before. that's bizarre. Yeah, it is weird. Well, let's uh, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna play. The first okay. It was yeah, I saw that. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll play this one. Let's play yeah. this one first, right? Okay. Yeah, that literally sounds like it says, yes, I did. Listen, you said didn't mean to hurt those kids, did you? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. That's crazy though. Yeah. That looks yeah, like, like yes, I did. You said, give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> She's like, nah. She I said, did. no, I did. Yeah. Yeah. That's on me. She said, no, that's on me. I did. I that's crazy. How do you kill your own kids? Right. right. And then and then get acquitted of it and go to live with the one surviving kid. Can you imagine right. being that kid? Didn't her husband die mysteriously? Yeah, and her other son. And her other, yeah. So her husband, her son die mysteriously, and then her two daughters are poisoned with arsenic. She gets acquitted of all this doesn't get convicted of it and just goes to live with the other daughter How did i don't know about you but if i'm that other daughter i'm putting her in a home yeah i ain't living with her ain't no way no offense but like that's terrible. i ain't taking i ain't taking any chances like that that's crazy you, yeah mother, yeah mother yeah you've done you've done enough thanks i'm gonna head out how did everyone get acquitted too oh, yeah. mobs everybody that's been here they're like yeah they ended up getting acquitted of it there's kind of let him go. Notorious mobster killed a bunch of people, but he's probably fine. He didn't mean to. Yeah. And they're like, you probably didn't mean to hurt them. I mean, she's like, oh, no. Way out, but she, yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I don't know. Couldn't possibly. She's like, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely did it. Yep. <laughs> that was me. Yep. yep. Sign me up. All right, let's, let's listen to yours. Because this is going to be a little shorter. You missed the first couple. Yeah. What? What was it? What was your question? Can you tell us what state we're in? Wait. I'm in Indiana. After the scream? Like, yeah. After the scream? I'll play that again. Yeah, that's play one more time. Hold on.
Indiana. Yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah. Again. It's spaced it's out. Weird there. though. Yeah. The scream's weird. Yeah, well, that's, that's a cool. weird noise. But it, but his didn't catch the. Yes, I did. Yeah. No, you know what I mean? I mean, my hand was out in the hallway. On the, yeah. On that side. So. Yeah. Could have been a little further away. That's weird. All right, you got yours right. Yeah. It recorded the whole thing. I'm so yeah. excited about yeah. that. That'll be fun. <laughs> Thank you. Really like this one. Play that back. There was something right after she asked that. I can't tell what that says. Mm -hmm. One more time. She did. That's exactly what I thought. I said she did, like super quick. So that's someone different yeah, than yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Except yeah. The yeah. Essentially right, right. What? What? Play that back again. Because there's one in yeah, the there's like, Play it again. It's like I'm bum bum. Yeah. Something else right there? Yeah. Too. That's the first one. Mm. One more time, put that back. That's the first. It sounds like it says, I want to talk. Like really quick? Yeah, it's like, I want to talk. I want, I want to, to talk. talk. Yeah, I hear that. So yeah, I mean, all three recorders caught something different, even though we're in the same hallway. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It picked up like, it's weird though because like, mine picks up her when she says, "You didn't mean to kill those kids," and she says, "Yes, I did." Mm. And then on yours, it sounds like it said, "She did." Like somebody else is talking, and then yours picked up nothing. Right. You know what I mean? So that's it's almost like I'm standing near her, and she's like, "Yeah, I, I did." You're down there, and somebody else is like, "She right. did like it." Yours or <laughs> Yeah, they're like, yeah, she did it. You know what I mean? And then yours, you're maybe too far away where it doesn't pick those up and nothing down there answers. Right. That was bizarre. That was weird. And then you get the maybe, I want to talk. That's super weird. Yeah. Weird. Weird, weird, weird first spot. I don't know. I, I mean, we have a lot of ground to cover, so I think we moved down to the area where John Dillinger was housed. Um, One of the most notorious inmates. Right. That, yeah. The guy that breaks out of here to prove that it is, in fact, possible to do. Right. Um, and then if we have to, um, if we have time, we'll, we'll circle back through and come back down here and see if we can get, you know, more information on that or if anybody else down here wants to, to continue to talk. But I think we go, we go down that way now. Yeah, let's head up. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're up where John Dillinger's cell was. He actually escaped here in 1934, like we said. We have a music box set up facing the hallway. We have a K2. Music box is going off. 
Are you excited to talk to us? Can you light up this green light? Feel free to come on in. Say hi. You just got to touch this green light. It's resting on the bars. All right, now that that's stopped, are you in here? Can you go up to that? So it's like just standing outside. Yeah. Come on in. Can you go up to this light right here? We also have um, the EMF rope down at the end down there. So that works the same way as any other EMF meter. It picks up different EMF levels and it changes the color of the lights as it goes. Um, but that music box is going off consistently. Yeah. Let's Are you see. not allowed to come in here? Are you from a different cell block? Okay, so just to, com just to confirm that you can hear us and uh, you want to answer our questions, can you s I'll take that as a yes. One blink, one, two, three. One blink for no, two for yes. Do you understand? Again, one for no, two for yes. No. I said, nope. Do you want one to be yes and two to be no? One blink for yes, two blinks for no? If you want to communicate with us, step in front of that black box in the doorway, and make the light turn on, there you go. If you want to answer our questions with yes, step in front of it and make that light blink twice for yes. But if your answer is no, only have it blink once, okay? Just like that. Okay. Yes, that's a yes. Help. All right, very good. There's a ghost here. Are we on the same page? Two for yes, if you understand me. Or one blink if you want us to Two. leave. Okay, yes. very cool. Ghost. Thank, Thank you. you. I said check okay, this out. Ready? Hype. I said, how about six? Does that give you anything? That was two again. That was two. And my stomach. I heard that. K2. Oh. I just hit yellow. Did you see that? I think they're here. Who? Nope. It said me. <laughs> nope, two. Do you want somebody to come into this day room here? Do you want one of us to walk in there? I was like, what does three mean? I was like three or four. Huh? Again, twice for yes, once for no. They're really excited. I said, how about this? Do you want Deanna to ask you questions? Who's out there? Are you here because you want to be? Are you stuck here? No. Okay, well, I'm trying. Are you here because you want to be? No. No. Sorry to hear that. Do you regret what you did to get it put in this place? K2 went you off. I said no. And the K2 went off at the same time? No. Were you innocent? No. no. But, they okay. don't, but they don't regret what they did. Right. Yikes. Do you like the attention that people give you? When they come into this jail? Is that why you stay? Too Two long ones. Too long ones, yes. So they love the attention. Right. Yep. Two. When your sentence is completed here, will you be able to move on? K2. So are you stuck here eternally? K2 went up to orange. 
Oh, yeah, it's it red. Is it red? Is it red? Red again. So just to confirm, you're stuck here eternally? Forever? You're going to be in this jail? No. No. But where are you going? <laughs> Do you like it here? Do you like being here? Will you only talk to me? No. no. Will you talk? Will you talk to me? Can I ask you questions? My name's Steve. The fact that it just stops validates K2. the fact. K2's going off. Validates the fact that it's not just randomly right. blipping, Thanks. you know? Radically. K2 again. Do you feel powerful here? Because we can't see you? Two. Yes. One, two. We can't see you. We can't hear you. You can do whatever you want. Two again. So you must love it here, huh? No one watching over you? Two. Yeah. So there's no one over you here? There's no warden? No. No. No, 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 no. You're doing really good. Whatever who that would be, right? So like, they said they're not innocent, mm -hmm. but they also don't regret what they did. Are you here to punish someone else? Are you an officer? Remember, just two for yes. No. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> yeah, are you the warden? Or are you a guard? No. no. That confirms it's an inmate, though. So you're an inmate? What? What'd you hear? A knock. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it either. I thought it was like yeah. a tap, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear it. I, didn't, I thought it was one of Where does that light came from? Oh. Above us? Where the creeper said to hang please, out. Please don't. Oh, I didn't know there was a thing here. Yeah, they play with your hair. They drop down and play with your hair. Luckily, you have really long hair. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. She's like, I regret being friends with you. A pleasant surprise. Yes. A gift, even. When you were a lot... Excuse me? Even. When you were a lot. Excuse me? Steven. When you were a lot. Excuse me? That's a joke. That's a joke. That was a big one. Who's there? One? That was definitely above us. That was 100% above us. Like, I'm trying not to get. Yeah, I can't see. Whoever's out here, terribly sorry. We're about to step on you or something. Like, I was just trying to show there's no one out here, first of all. I don't. But I can even see, like. That's me. That's yeah. me. Um, yeah. Again, no one's out here. Uh, oh. Do we go? Like, do we go upstairs? Just straight upstairs? I don't know, like, right? Like, I can't see anything. Me. Watch the staircase. Did we go upstairs and check? One of us go up and, and like slam doors or something and see if it sounds the same? Go up there. Well, that's still going off. Even well, okay, you go stand in there, I'll stand here so you can knock stuff and I can tell you if that's what it sounded like. Yeah, you go up. Yeah, if you don't mind. Because yeah. <laughs> then I can relay to him. That was so loud though. That had to be it. But what sells you, what sells you to move up there? Right. Yeah, okay. Alright, so Mark's gonna go upstairs and check to see um, what well, that could have been. What cells that could have been. Why don't you go back in there? Yeah. Go back in that hall. See if we can talk to him still? Well, and see if so you can hear it. Right. Alright. Guys, it is dark. Oh, so weird. This, hallway. this is still going off, too. Did you like that reaction you got out of us? Everybody freaking out? Yeah. yeah. That was it. That's what it was. That's it. Door. Hold on, hold on. What was it? The metal what? See, that's exactly what it is. This is going nuts, too. No, it's whatever you did when you first got up there. Because it reverberated exactly the same. Is that what you wanted to do? You wanted to split us up? That sounds pretty close. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like yeah. a metal housing that's around where the doors open and close. Yeah. So. Dang. Yeah. Hi, right, we're coming back in. That's us, that's us, that's us, that's us. It's yeah. been consistently going off. Though. He said it was like pounding, like pounding on, on this, like the metal housing. So that would be like if the doors were like closing or something, you know what I mean? Like right. it was moving almost. That was loud though. That it was should, like shook the whole building. Yeah. That's it's what like, I mean, it reverberated. Yeah. Interesting. And our friend is still out here. Yeah. Was that them closing the cells upstairs? No. Yes. yes. No, yes. I said, I don't know what's going on. I said, your guess is as good as mine, dude. I'm down here. Do you know who was upstairs making that noise? Oh. Yes. Oh. And now it's holding it. Oh, no. So just to confirm, you stay here because you feel powerful, right? There's nothing out there. No, I don't understand. It just stops. You like having me step away for a second? So you like having people visit you? Again, there's nothing out there though to set that off. All right. K2. I just hit orange and held it. Oh, good. Right okay. behind me. Yeah. Look. I love it here. Again. Can you make that go to red? There you go. Red. Nice. Hey, red. Hey, red. I'm can actually going to turn this off for a second. No can offense to whoever's out here. I'm going to turn it off. Can you hold it at red? Just grab it. Do whatever you just did. Make it stay at red. Show us how powerful you are. How much strength you have. Did you hear that? What? Sound like there's movement out there. Yeah. It will sound like a foot, like, like dragged across the ground. Or can you knock this green light right out of the bars? Knock it off? I'd leave. <laughs> Call it a night. We're all in one car. How are you getting out of here? I'll walk. <laughs> what was that? Something hanging? It was like a metallic noise. Yeah. Make a really loud noise. We'll turn the music box back on. Slam a door. What was that? It was like a, yeah. Oh, that was like upstairs. Yeah. Right? Like a weird. That was weird. It didn't sound like a door that time. It was like a, like a, almost, it sounded like more like vocal that time. But that was sound like it was upstairs. Yeah. What, what was, was that? Like, oh. Like, what was what? Yeah. Yeah. Slam a door. We'll turn the music box back on. You can play with it. Stomp your feet, make a loud noise. Do you want us to leave? If you want us to leave this area, go up to this green light here on the bars and make it go up to red. We'll leave the area. We won't bother you anymore. But you gotta light that up. It's weird though because we kept asking him, do you like being in power? Do you feel like we give you power by being here? Right. And it was lighting, every, everything was going off. Right. And we take away its main source of power. Right, the main thing you can use to communicate with us. Yeah. Those behind you, in the holding cell? Like, it's, it's not down that way. It sounded like footsteps. Yeah. It was like crunching on like, like the, the paint, paint or whatever, yeah. Was it behind you? I it couldn't tell. It wasn't down here. It wasn't? No. I thought it was in that holding cell right there. By in the day room behind me? Or yeah. Can you pull my hood? Yeah, Good luck. Snitch. What kind of friend? <laughs> Let's get my head smashed off the bars. Oh. Thanks. Now she says, oh no. Go ahead, my hood's right here. 
Go ahead, my hood's right here. Go ahead, my hood's right here. There's a noise right here. It's like two footsteps or something like. And then like a like a ding or something. Yeah. Like the, I thought it was like gravel, right? Like yeah, yeah, like the movement, and then there's like a ding, almost like a metallic noise again. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Definitely ding. There's like a metallic noise again, and then a footstep. Yeah. It's consistent though. All I can picture is like guards walking and like dragging the keys across the bars almost, yeah. you know? Yeah. You're in that day room. Can you go up to that black box that has those glowing lights on it? If you touch that, it'll go off and make some noise. It'll let us know that you're in there. How loud of a noise can you make? Stomp your feet. Yell. K2. K2. Come on, do something crazy. Clank something against the bars. Throw something at me. Are you done talking to us? Someone just hiss. What was that? Wait, what? You hear that? Yeah. Like, it's like, like yeah. It was something like blowing air out. Was it like? Yeah. What was that though? Like first thing that came to mind was somebody hissing. It was like, what? Oh, did you, did you, did you hear that thing again? A massive bang. What did you see? I heard it. What did you hear? Here. Dude, it's that, a hiss too again. Yeah, but that that bang was ridiculous again. Right it shook the whole thing again. Same noise. I think I heard footsteps upstairs. And then there was that loud. It was over here. And then it was that loud, loud thud again. Like it shook the building. Yeah, we gotta go upstairs. And yeah. then right after that too was that hiss. That hiss again. again. We have to go upstairs. Yeah. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's see what that is. All right, let's move. Ready? Yeah, let's, go. let's go. Really quick, guys, before we head upstairs, make sure you drop down below. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. If we get 3,000 likes, we're going to head to another haunted jail somewhere in America. So drop a like. All right, guys, so we came upstairs. We're one floor above where we just were. We're up where we were just hearing all those really loud bangs coming from. It sounded like either the doors slamming or somebody hitting the wall or something up here. Um, so we came up here to kind of figure out what that was. We have some stuff set up. We have an EMF rope again. We have the EDI set up. Um, we're gonna break out the ovuluses again and see if we can get anything in here. Try to figure out what was making those noises at least. And then uh, we'll move on to another spot. I think the next area we're gonna go, um, we're gonna do an SS session and then we're gonna move up to the upper floors where the darkest entity and the darkest energy in the whole building is supposed to be and also where Mark has had an EM pump going the entire night while we were up there. So it's really pumping a lot of energy out in that area. So we're gonna finish out up there in a little bit. But first we're gonna try to see if we can figure out who's making all those noises while we're downstairs. What's the plural of uh, ovulus? Is it ovuluses, ovuli? Let us know in the comments. Loathe. <laughs> all right, so we got the EMO. <coughs> got the EMO. <laughs> the who? <laughs> we, got the, we got the EM rope on the table here, the EDIs, um, one ovulus down there. I'm gonna put one over here. And for those of you who don't know, an EM pump basically just uh, puts out EMF in large quantities, so hopefully it's nice and charged up for us. I just said storm there. and mad. Storming mad. Storm mad. Good. So a lot of these were actually found in the jail, actually. A lot of these playing cards. Some people have obviously left money, cigarettes and whatnot, but... Plan. Hurt. Mad plan hurt. That just go off? The EMF rope just went yeah. off, yeah. But okay. also, isn't this the cell? Or this is the uh, day room where they broke off that metal bar, right? The Indiana Dune killer, right? right? So he broke off Dune's a metal there. bar here and went out and escaped. He basically used to pry open a window and get out of here, so... No, the EMF rope has gone off. Ovulus has said mad, hurt, and plan. For being like a small town county jail, they had a lot of messed up people coming through. They had a lot of hardcore criminals in here. A lot yeah. of murderers, hitmen. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, they, they weren't necessarily here a long time, but a lot of them passed through their doors and a couple of them escaped. Yeah. So, I don't know. Whoever's up here, 
Were you guys just making loud noises while we were downstairs? Were you hitting the walls? Slamming doors? If you were, can you come up to this device on the table here in the middle and, and touch it? Or get as close to it as you can, it'll change colors. It just lets us know that you're here, that you can hear our voice. This is the same person. Can you give us a sign? Either touch this rope, or the lights should change colors. Say a word through one of these devices on the table. Whatever you can do. That was right out there. Yeah. That was right out there. Yeah. That was right out there. Yeah. Come on, you can do something louder than that, can't you? We heard you when we were downstairs. I feel like it's a change in the power dynamic too, because we are on the outside downstairs. And now we're inside. Yeah. Light. F O V. What? Fly. Oh, fly. 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 <clears throat> you want to try a couple DR60s, see if we can get some answers? Country? Sultry? Sultry? Sultry. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> uh, mm. I will sell you this teenage boy for a pack of cigarettes. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm not a teenager. Oh, 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 went off. Yo. Oh, business exchange, and that went off. Yep. Yeah. Business business. This is business. Oh, oh this is no. Business. Goodbye, Dylan. Oh, I hate to ruin the investment, but I'm not a teenager anymore. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. Wait, this wait, young wait. man. I want to point out that the little purple part that yep. went off yep. was the one that was on the cigarette. Oh. You said cigarettes for. Yeah. For. So the, oh. For Dylan. For a pack of cigarettes, yeah. The light that was touching the cigarette was on the So your value is equated to a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. That might be pushing it, actually. Hmm. Oh. Do you think he's worth a whole pack of cigarettes or just a few? You drive a hard bargain. Well, we do some DR60s. <laughs> See if we can get some answers with that. That's funny, though. Is it? Well, not for me, but, you know. Yeah, for everybody else. Yeah. Everybody at home. Yeah. Hey, guys. Thumbs up if you think Dylan's worth a pack of cigarettes. All right. All right. Let's do some DR60s. We can ask him a couple questions, try to figure out, you know, who was making those noises while we were downstairs, who's trying to buy Dylan for a pack of cigarettes. Shower. Newer. Oh, newer. He is. New. He is. Mm. Oh, they want a newer pack of cigarettes, maybe. Yeah. These are old, right? So. True. Uh -huh. Oh, you're trading, so you, yes. you get the pack of cigarettes. Oh, for you. That's yes. right. That's right. Bye, Dylan. Bye. All right. Bye. Ready? One, two, three. Do you accept my offer? Is Dylan a fair trade? Who was making those loud noises while we were downstairs? What's your name? Are you walking outside of this day room? Was it a guard or an inmate making those thuds earlier? What item on this table had the highest value in here? One, two, three. That shuffling sounded like it was right there. Yeah, that shuffling sound was like right out there. What did that say? The obvious. Well, first it said words, and then it said records. Records. Okay. Yep. Oh, All right, let's play these back. Hold on, let me come over there. Who? 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 That was a loud thud. It sound like it was above us again? Did it just do it again? Too? I just hit my knee off the bench. Oh, Ouch. Then yes. 
That last one was me. Then yes. That last one was me. Then yes. That last one was me. What that wasn't was me. that. That wasn't me. That sounded like a female again. Like, oh. We've heard that, what, three times now? Yeah. It's like a female, like, whining or, like, like wailing almost. Okay. Mm -hmm. On that note, on that note, let's play some recorders. Who wants to go first? All right. What's that there right at the beginning? Right at the beginning. Get out? Then get out? The guards. That was that was very vocal. Yeah. What is that? What is that? What is that? That was close though. That was like right out in this What hallway. is that? I don't even know, like... Like is it the guards doing their rounds? Right, you know? slamming the doors, is that them like locking up? Right. Yeah, it wasn't as loud that time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that definitely said the guards, though. That was clear. It yeah. was definitely the guards. And it's weird, the rope light went off, too. Yeah, it was down, like by, the same space. down by that way. Yeah, down, down by that way. way. That, that was oh. the same one. That was the yeah. same one. As the obvious said the a word. The same one. What did the others say? Fiddle? I don't think I like it here. Did you finish? Is that the recorder finish or no? All right, let's listen to yours. It definitely said the guards, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was a lot. That was yeah. weird. What? It's the guards up there? Or? It ended, yeah. That's the guards up there. Wow. That's the guards up there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Consistently, it's the guards. It's the guards, though. but then that scream. Yeah. What's that name? I don't know. Scream. And it's the quick. one question that I asked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to stop talking and. Uh oh. Uh oh. Give them their cigarettes or, or, or. Oh. They traded right. the cigarettes maybe already. Mm -hmm. Here we go. What? She and I just felt something at the same time. What'd, What'd you, you feel? feel? Like our hair getting like touched. No. Your hair got touched. I didn't get touched, but felt like someone. You know, when someone's like right up on you. Yeah. yeah. That's what it felt like. And she felt her hair get touched? Yeah. yeah. Which is what they said happens when there's the creeper on the ceiling. Yeah. It, oh. it drops down to play with your hair. No offense. But you guys, look, look, you guys have the longest hair, right? I mean, I barely have hair. Well, I don't know what that noise was. Was that footsteps? It sounded like outside. All right, well, let me play this back real quick. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 
Who was making those loud noises while we were downstairs? Where's your locker? Yeah. What the going rate for a charity in Chapman Dillon? What's your name? Are you something? Yeah. Yeah. Does that say it was the guards? It was the guards. Yeah, listen. It was the guards. At all three recorders, for all three recorders, caught it in a different way. They all said, no, they all said, they all said the same thing in different sentences. You know what I mean? Yeah. One was the guards. One was the guards up there. One was, it was the guards. That's awesome. Every single one said it in a different way, but said the same thing. I mean, you got to think how many prisoners were in this day room, too. Right? right? They all responded. Right. They're like, oh, it was the yeah, guards. It's the guards up here. You know they're what I mean? standing in different areas, too. It's just... All right, like, I got it. That's you. crazy. That's I'm really gonna keep cool. playing that. I'm going to re rewind that again. That's crazy. That's so cool. That's that's, that's crazy. Really cool. That's super cool. I mean, that's that literally is what we came up here to do, right? Like we came up here to figure out what was making those noises. Who was it? All three recorders got the exact same answer said in different ways, and that goes off while the obvious is saying something. What did the obvious say? Obvious said, "Type." Oh my God, you're their type. Oh, oh wonderful. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna move on. Dylan's gonna stay up here. About that. If you want Dylan to stay here, can you make the lights go off on the table? Make all of them go off. Or just one? Just uh, well, any of them. Uncle. Um. No thanks. Uncle. They want you to say uncle. Uh, no. <laughs> I think I will. If you set one of these lights off right now, if you want him to say uncle, or call you uncle. Should we try to go talk to the guards now? Oh, there's a knock right out there. Talk to the guards now? Oh, there's a knock right out there. Talk to the guards now? Oh, there's a knock right out there. Do you want us to step out into the hallway? Who's walking out there? Who's walking out there? Who's walking out there? What is happening? Is that, is that on the other side? I can't tell where it's coming from. It's like outside of this wall. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, literally, we came up here to figure out, right, what was making those noises. Mm -hmm. We. Oh. oh, I love the Nick. The Nick. Okay, so it says Nick. So Uncle Nick? Uncle Nick? Is that Uncle your name? Uncle Nick. Maybe they're just giving us the names of the guys who, uh... Huh, saw. Uncle Nick saw. Saw what? What did, what did Uncle Nick see? Dude, that one guy killed his uncle. Yeah. Uh, that one guy literally was in here because he murdered his uncle. If his uncle's name is in the newspaper... I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah. If the man's it? name is Nick... That's actually Maybe crazy. Remind him Uncle Nick. <laughs> Rather not. It's the mustache. We're gonna have to check on that. <laughs> what, did, what did Uncle Nick see? Like, what if he committed another crime and his uncle saw it? And that's why he killed him. Yeah. Is that what happened? Was that why you killed Uncle Nick? That's actually crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, like I said, we came up here to figure out what made those noises up here while we were downstairs. Mm. All three recorders get some form of it was the guards. Never no, no, and they were all clear. They were all oh. tilt. Tilt? But, you know, I mean, those were all clear responses saying the exact same thing in different ways. Like you said, all different inmates. It went off again. It was farther down. All different inmates in this room giving us the answer. Like, oh, no, that was the guards. It wasn't us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I 
think we accomplished what we came up here to do. Absolutely. Figure yeah. out what was making those noises. They told us it was the guards. I think now we go, let's, let's change it up a little bit, right? Like, let's go over to the women's side. Let's go to the women's cells. Let's do an Estes. See what we can get in there. Yeah, let's go. Ready? Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're actually up in the yeah. women's ward right now. Sabella is under for an Estes method right now. And then after this, we're going to go upstairs to the top floor where it's supposed to be the darkest. We've had the EM pumps running up there. So we'll see how the rest of this uh, investigation goes. Avios is talking too. What'd you just say? She said, yeah. Yeah. Avios said, squeeze. I think they're still talking to you, Dylan. Hoarder. Hoarder. Please house. don't squeeze me. House. Hoarder house? Or order house? Oh, I thought you said hoarder house. Oh. What's your name? Say mint. Glance. Not even close. Where do you want us to glance? Maybe. Maybe let's glance. Where though? Where should we look? It's, it's like, time. It's time for it's what? It's time for. Is that like a door or something? The pen. The pen? Pen. It's time for the pen. Very spooky. Yeah, it's like solitary, I would yeah. think, right? I think so. Hidden. 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 Who's going to solitary? Did you do something wrong? So you're getting sent to solitary? I just heard that knock. That was behind oh, you, right? Well, don't stay here. Don't, don't stay, stay here. here after you heard a knock in that cell. It was literally behind me. It was on the wall, though, right? Oh, my. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I agree. I'm Be happy. I'm... Happy. Should we be happy that you're Dang it. talking to us? <laughs> Dang, Dang it. it. Alright, so now Deanna's going under for the Estes session again. We're still in the women's ward. Um, are you still here with us? Whoever was just talking to us? Inside. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that thud? It was a thud, yeah. That was another loud Evelyn? one. Like a cell. Evelyn? 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 Inside, like you're inside Evelyn's cell. Am I inside Evelyn's cell? Is that who cell this is? Isn't it? I God. That's what we're asking you. Isn't it Evelyn's cell? You would know better than we would. We're just asking you the questions. Come on. You want some more questions? We'd be happy to ask if you're happy to answer. What are God you in? again. God again. What are you in for? She has it. She has it? One chance? Okay. Is she going up for parole? Is God her one chance to make things right? Is that knock in there again? It is. Yeah. That's that was two knocks. knocks. That was two knocks. Yeah. One. Still do. Still do. If that's you, can you knock twice again? Two knocks. Did you hear that? That was a... Yeah. That's a car horn. Jeez. Yeah, it's if that's you knocking in there... Listen, yeah. Jesus. Fuck. If that's you knocking in there, can you knock twice? Oh my god. Stupid. Mean. Two Smash. knocks. Two knocks for us. Can you do that? For me? Two knocks from you, please. Say it once. Please. Are we speaking with Evelyn? One, another knock. It's crowded. In the cell? Do you want me to step out? What was Hold that? Do you want me to step out? What was Hold that? Do you want me to step out? What was Hold that? That's a big one. That's oh, the jail. It was what the was jail. that? He's in the jail. That was upstairs again. Was that the guards again? That was 100% upstairs again. 
That's so loud. Yeah. The guard's doing their rounds again. Their rounds again. Their rounds again. It sounded like a whistle. Yeah. You heard, you heard that. We're going upstairs after this. It's supposed to be something dark up there, right? Do you have any words of advice? Nicely. Nicely. Approach it nicely. Well, I think we've had that EM pump going upstairs for all night, yeah. so I think it's time to go upstairs. They said approach it nicely, so. Yeah, we'll go upstairs, we'll turn off the EM pump, we'll do EVP sessions, and we'll just see if we can talk to whatever's supposed to be this dark energy that hangs out up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see if we can wrap up the night with uh, some good EVPs, hopefully. Yeah, let's All right, it. let's pull it out and uh, let's head upstairs. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying this investigation so far, don't forget, drop down, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you're always notified of any new investigations that we are posting. We have a lot of really awesome locations coming up, a bunch of collabs. We have our new series starting soon featuring America's haunted houses, some of the most haunted houses in the entire country, so you do not want to miss that. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, guys, so we came over to the other side. We're in the federal section now. I'm standing right in a solitary confinement cell. Um, this is the area that's supposed to have the darkest energy and the darkest entity in the whole building. We've had the EM pump going up here all night, just giving everything in this area a ton of energy. So we're going to jump right in, do some EVP sessions. We have the EM rope on the ground here. We also have a K2 meter down there. Um, but I think we're going to focus mostly on DR60 and EVP sessions up here to see if we can figure out who is haunting this area. They also have reports of... A clown from this cell behind me which I forgot about until just now so that's too bad um, good thing you're standing in it though yeah they, yeah. they call it Pennywise because it like leans out and does like the little Pennywise laugh and the wave so this is good yeah um, if you see a clown behind me do not tell me I will what? what that was like that music again that was so creepy it's like a music box sound Hello? Can you come talk to us? What was that? I don't know. It again. Yeah, I heard it that time. It was like a whistling almost. It was like a whistle and then it does sound like music after. It's, it's like yeah, a, yeah. it literally sounds like the music box. I wonder what, how the EM like translates, you know? Right. How much power do they get? Right. All these doors are slamming and stuff. What if it's directly from that? That's true. We've had, I forgot about that. We had that going up here all night and this is the air, like upstairs is where we've been hearing all those big loud door slams and the yeah. EM rope just went off. Noise what again. is that? Noise what again. is that? Noise what again. is that? Did you like having that pump up here? Putting out all that EMF so you can use it? Can you make that noise again, the, the metallic or the music noise? Yeah, this one, yep. Or can you do something bigger? Slam a door, yell. I was out there, right? I was out there, right? I was out there, right? Oh, it's right behind me. Yeah. That was well, right here. Whatever that metal is, is That's, in here. It's, and it's moving. Yeah. Because it's down there, then it was right here behind this cell, and then it was back down there again. It, no, it's down here again. It just happened right outside yeah. the cell. We're in the federal section, too. If I turn around to see a clown in this cell, you will never see me again. <laughs> Gone in 60 I will seconds. Just spontaneously combust. Don't. <laughs> just saying. Can you make one of these lights go off again? All you have to do is get near them. 
If you touch them, stand near them, they go off. Hopefully. Stand on top of them, kick them. I was going to say, did yeah. the K2 just go off? No, the K2 is going off over there. What was that? What was that? What was that? Did you just like exhale? Did you hear that? It was like a. S yeah. That wasn't you? Did you hear that? It, I thought it was closer to you guys. It sounded like a scream. Because that's where the. But it sounded uh, like, was like in, it was. That was like a. That was like a breathy, like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We were hearing downstairs before we started filming. 100% that was in here. That was loud. Yeah. Sure was. <laughs> I feel like it's in this cell though, because that's where the EM lights are. Yeah, right in front off. of it. Yeah. Oh, At wow. least it's in that cell and not this one. Stay over there. If Occ you're occupado. <laughs> if you're sitting in that cell, can you set off the EMF light right in front of it? The rope. Just reach out and grab it. Or knock on the wall. Oh. oh. Excuse me. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh my God. That was loud. You said knock on a wall. And it said, how about that? This noise again, right here. Oh, what is happening? This noise again, right here. Oh, oh what is happening? Let's see. This noise again, right here. Oh, oh, what is happening? What is that? I don't think I like it here. What is going on? It literally sounds like something's tapping on the metal in here. Yeah. I don't understand. What was that crap? I don't know. It sounds like something hit like the wall or one of the beds each time you ask for it. Yeah. It literally sounds like something's tapping on the metal bars. Hello? Are you in the cell in front of me? Yeah, See the lights? And the EM rope goes off right in front of you. I think I need to leave. Again, we all were in the same car, so uh, yeah, I'll walk. And you've already been traded. Yeah, you, sorry, you have to stay here. We are uh, getting a pack of cigarettes. In oh, trade. What is one on? K2? Yeah. Yeah. Number one draft pick. I'm going to go back into Pennywise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this just go off again? The just went off. No, it's just went so off. dark in here. And Pennywise is so. That's going on. on my resume. Number one draft pick. You got traded for a pack of cigarettes. On wall? Your stock's pretty low. Outside. Got to start at the bottom, you know. Yeah. Do we do some EVPs? Because if they're able to make noises like that and set off for these devices, Bang on the wall. That's insane. Literally banging on the wall right when he... Banging on the wall right when he asks for it and then I say... And then I say it bangs on the wall and it does it again. Yeah. And it hasn't done a sense. And that breath that you guys have been hearing... All right. No thanks. We can't lay on the beds. They told us we were not allowed to. Thanks, Tom. What was that? What was that? That voice wasn't the ovulus? No. What? Was that... Mm. That's the second time that that's happened. Mm. Not here, but that's, that's a clear too. No, that wasn't. That, that was wasn't the ovulus? ovulus. No, that was a man. Yeah, my eyes are watering. Oh, I hope the mics yeah. picked that was up. That right in, this is in this cell, wasn't it? It's all centralized that's around all this that cell. cell. I need new pants. <laughs> Help. Yeah, this jail is haunted. Ooh. Turns out. I got the, I got the goosebumps. All right, well, let's do some EVPs. <laughs> Turns out the EM pump works. Yep. Hell, they said pump, run. pump it up. Run. It, it did say run. run. It said run. Run. Yep. Goodbye, Stephen. Good thing we're not cornered or anything. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh. Real good. Huh. Getting them. That's too bad. All right, so we're going to ask you some questions using these little gray boxes, okay? It's a damn shame, really. If you speak into them, we should be able to hear your voice. 
Okay? And then we're going to get out of your hair. And your cell. Thanks. Now you ready? A couple questions. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Who is smacking the wall in these cells? Did you like the EM pump being left up here? Did it give you a lot of power? Did it give you a lot of power? Did it give you a lot of power? Whose cell am I standing in the door of? Why were you sent to solitary? Can you say one of our names? Who's making that clanging noise? One, two, three. There's a lot of weird noises going on right now. Who wants to play it back? Start with Merkels. What? Yeah. I cannot tell. You can hear the clanking almost too. What? Is it I am making it? It's like I am making it. Oh, oh shoot. That's weird. It's super vocal. You want to play again or you want to do one of yours? Try yours. Let's see if we got the same thing on yours. Solitary? What? Why were you sent to solitary? Solitary. It's like something solitary. Solitary, maybe? And it's gone. All right, let's play. Uh, let's play this one back. Who is smacking the wall in these cells? What? Who is smacking the wall in these cells? I can't tell this. I can't tell this. I can't tell this. What was that? That was a big one. Again. I just did it again. Let's just finish this. Yeah. Who's 
son am I standing in the door of? Yeah, that's super weird. Yeah. It still sounds like something's being said. Yeah. And there's so many noises and stuff going on up here. Right. The bangs, like another couple loud, loud bangs too. But I don't know. I let's just try to get him to say goodnight. Yeah. And because I mean it's about time. We gotta wrap it up. But um I mean it seems like they're intelligent. It seems like everywhere we've been so far tonight they've been intelligent. So if we ask them to say goodnight, maybe they will. Right, maybe they're trying to get rid of us at this point. Right, they're like, I'm all set, talk to you enough. So yeah. let's just do that, ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Well, there's three right here in the middle. One. Hey. Yeah. One, two, three. Whatever inmate or guard is up here with us, come down with us down here and say good night or goodbye. We're getting ready to leave. So I'm gonna to count to three. Say good night or goodbye. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let's see. Whatever inmate or guard is up here with us, come down with us down here and say good night or goodbye. We're getting ready to leave. So I'm going to count to three. Say good night or goodbye. One, two, three. One, two, three. What was it? Was it before I said one? I said hello. You heard hello? Yeah, I heard that again. Was it? Play that again. Whatever inmate or guard is up here with us, come down with us down here and say good night or goodbye. We're getting ready to leave. So I'm going to count to three. Say good night or goodbye. One, two, three. One, two. Three. That's me counting one, two, three. Let's go on. One, two, three. So there's that's hello, and then one, no, two, No, no, that's just me counting one, two, three. Okay. 100%. Uh, that's me. 100%. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Fair enough. Whatever inmate or guard is up here with us, come down with us down here and say good night or goodbye. We're getting ready to leave. So I'm going to count to three. Say good night or goodbye. One, two, three. Night. Yeah, it was like good night. Good night. Creepy sound. Yeah. It is. Help. Whatever inmate or guard is up here with us, come down with us down here and say good night or goodbye. We're getting ready to leave. Somebody count to three. Say good night. Well, goodbye. One, two, three. One, two, three. It didn't sound like it said good night on there. No. Something. Yours definitely sounds like it says good night, though. Well, at least one of them said good night to us, yeah. right? Like, could have been worse. Thanks for chatting. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think it's been a weird night. Definitely intelligent stuff. Loud bangs. The intelligent melmeters. The... K2, K2, the music box. So, I don't know. I think, uh, I think it's time. I think we wrap it up. Yeah. Ready? Right? Let's do it. All right, guys. We just wrapped up our investigation here at the old Crown Point Jail. What a weird, weird night. Really intelligent activity. Really strong activity. I mean, slamming cell doors, whatever noises they were making, made its presence known for sure. And a lot of it was on command. You know, we they'd do it once, we'd ask it to do it again, and it did it again. I mean, we the EVPs we got, the Estes session was super weird. Also, everything we used 
they utilized. I mean, walking into this, I was thinking it was gonna be like the Washington County Jail, kind of like a small town jail, a little creepy here and there, but like, this was actually kind of scary. Yeah, they had a lot of really bad people here, you know what I mean? Notorious mobsters, murderers, all kinds of crazy stuff, and mm. I think a lot of them are still hanging out here. Yeah. You know, it's it's got that creepy feeling. It definitely feels oppressive in certain areas. Absolutely. And they definitely, definitely let you know that they are here and they're in charge. Yeah. So I don't know. It's been a, a really, really cool night. Thank you to Mark and Deanna and Sabella for tagging along. Sabella, guys, Sabella is young. She's less than 12 years old, and she's out here killing on investigations. So mm -hmm. we'll tag Mark and Deanna's stuff down below on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. So make sure you go check them out. You've seen them in some of our other videos, and you will see them again. Um, but, yeah, I mean, what a weird, weird night. I'm excited to, uh, to see what's coming next on our channel. we got a lot of really, really cool stuff coming up. So we'll see you guys at the next investigation.